I've got five minutes to sneak a cigarette. Well, it is day two of our midterm blues road trip, and we've made it through some pretty torrential weather actually from St. Louis down to the city of Memphis in Tennessee and to this wonderful space here. This is where Al Green recorded his massive hit, Love and Happiness, and many other standards as well. We're here to see Grammy nominated country singer Gretchen Peters, who's spoken out about women's rights in a state where she feels they're under threat. What scares me about what's happening in the midterms right now in Tennessee is that there is a, definitely a movement to, to try and restrict uh, women's access to abortion, to birth control. It's draconian. Uh, the, the amendment that's on the ballot would actually not provide for abortion even in the case of rape or incest or the potential death of the mother. Um, and I think no matter how you feel about the issue of abortion, that is extreme. I've got five minutes. Not much time to reminisce. Well, we're on the outskirts of Memphis now to come to visit this mobile women's health clinic, but it's not the kind of family planning clinic that you traditionally think of. This is a pro-life clinic. That's to say, the main aim of the practitioners in there is to convince women not to have an abortion. We are in what's known as the Bible Belt of the United States, and I think um, from a Christian perspective, we um, do not agree with abortion. I believe that life begins at conception. And, um, and so I don't think that anyone has the right to take the life of another human being. Even under circumstances of, of rape? Um, I've actually had a couple of opportunities to speak with young women who were raped and going to have an abortion as a result of that. And, uh, you know, what I would say to them is they're going to be victimized twice. Once when they were raped and then when they have to suffer the consequences of the decision of having an abortion. Let freedom But with a largely conservative fan base, it can be risky for a country singer in Tennessee to come out in favor of a woman's right to have an abortion. Well, I got hate mail. I mean, I, for, for a period of several weeks, I got some pretty ugly hate mail. And I, I, didn't, I didn't really enjoy being in, in the spotlight in that way too much, but I also felt really strongly that um, I, I feel strongly about women's issues. It's in 